Dzień dobry. Witam Państwa bardzo serdecznie na kolejnym wydarzeniu organizowanym przez Akademię Kultury Społecznej i Medialnej w Toruniu, Regionalny Ośrodek Debaty Międzynarodowej w Toruniu oraz Biuro Współpracy Międzynarodowej i Międzyuczelnianej w Akademii Kultury Społecznej i Medialnej w Toruniu realizujący niesamowity program Erasmus+. Witam Państwa bardzo serdecznie na wydarzeniu, który zebrał niezwykły dzisiaj gości. Jest mi niezmiernie miło powitać specjalnych przedstawicieli z Katolickiego Uniwersytetu w Erbilu w państwie o nazwie Irak. Ze względu na naszych gości oraz na fakt, że posługują się m.in. językiem angielskim, w tym momencie dla ich wygody postaram się zmienić ten język na angielski, a jeśli popełnia jakiekolwiek błędy językowe, to proszę o wybaczenie. Thank you very much for, for this, this opportunity to see you, for this opportunity that you decided to come to Torun and to talk about Erbil, Iraq, Christian community in this state, and in general about the situation in your country. May I present two amazing professors, visiting professors from the Catholic University in Erbil. Professor Ramia Jamal, who got the master's degree from the University of Milan, the specializ your specialization is international relations. You are university lecturer in the Catholic University in Erbil, Iraq. And as I checked, you speak in many languages like English, Arabic, Italian, Kurdish, Sorani, and Badini. Correct? Yes, correct. So, hello, welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. And the visiting professor, Regine Padel Yusif, uh, who got the Bachelor of Science degree from the Computer Sciences in Sihan University in Erbil, mm -hmm. uh, who is the program coordinator in the Catholic University in Erbil, and who speak also in many languages like English, Arabic, Kurdish, and Syriac. Yes. Welcome, welcome in Poland. Thank you very much for our Sunday evening. Having us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How do you feel? Uh, we feel amazing. I saw such an amazing country with a totally different culture from ours, so I'm happy to be here. It's your first time in Poland? It's our first time, yes. Yeah, it's my first time as well. So thank you very much to be here. Thank you very much that you decided to be with us. I have a few questions for you because uh, not many people have knowledge about mm -hmm. Iraq Kurdistan, Kurdish enclaves in, in Iraq, also not many people heard about problems which, which have the Christian community mm. in, in, uh, in that part of the world. Of course, from time to time we heard about uh, problems with Islamic State, which existed some, some times ago, which were a very disaster time for many people mm. in the area. But my first question is about the situation and status of the Catholic University in Erbil. Mm -hmm. What program does the university, what kind of the university mm -hmm. it is? Can you a little explain mm -hmm. what kind of the university you mm -hmm. represent? Mm -hmm. The Catholic University in Erbil, known as Siri, uh, was established in 2015 by His uh, Grace Archbishop Bashar Warda, the Archbishop of Chaldean Church in Erbil, uh, sorry, uh, Catholic Chaldean Church in Erbil. Uh, the Catholic University in Erbil is a non-profit private university, uh, provides a degree in arts and sciences, and welcomes students for different culture, background, uh, and religions. Currently, it has over 400 students from different religions, such as uh, Christian, Muslim, and Yazidis. Uh, enrolled in the different type of scholarship. Uh, mm, that's it. Yeah, uh, as my colleague said, it's uh, an English speaking university, it's a then uh, uh, profit uh, private university as well, founded in 2015 by his great archbishop. Uh, it's a funded university as well, uh, it has a bright future. And uh, it's one of the very few universities in the region that offers programs in English in majors of international relations, pharmacy, uh, medical laboratory sciences, business management. Uh, we are planning to open departments of uh, digital media and nursing, and uh, pro hopefully uh, the campuses as well. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, 
as the university is not that old. Uh, over 400 students we have, and uh, uh, the number of staff probably extends to 20 to 30, if I'm not wrong. And uh, the bigger the campus will be, the more open it will become as well. But there are high interests in studying at the university. Uh, because the idea behind the university is great, because it, 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 it is an international culture. It's, it's Catholic University in Arbol. But it, it's not that only Christians are there. It's a hub, it's actually, let's say, a safe zone for different nationalities from different backgrounds and religious backgrounds studying there. We are having uh, Christian uh, students, we are having Muslim Muslims as well, Yazidis. We are having, uh, so it's, it's actually a university that has people from diverse backgrounds, teachers and students as well, because we are concentrating a lot on principles of coexistence, diversity, tolerance, being open, accepting the other, love and respect. And the main mission of the Catholic University is formation of future leaders uh, and also advancement of the Rohingya uh, community in the region to create a peaceful coexistence environment. Mm -hmm. I wanted only, only to underline that Archbishop Bashar Barada was here in Toru in 2019 during our international congress and thanks to this visit we started collaboration actually with this university and the Catholic University in Nerville and during the last years we had the opportunity to organize many events many aspects, the visiting of professors in this one, and also we are happy that one of the students during the last semester was also here in our university. And my another question is about the situation of the Christian community in Iraq. Uh, we heard about some problems which was in the past. We heard about some difficult time because many people were, were moderate by especially fundamentalist, religious fundamentalist. What is the current situation of the Christian community in Iraq, in Kurdish place, in Pembe? In general, in Iraq, the Christian community clearly dimensioned uh, in the last 20, uh, 20 years uh, from one and a half million to 250,000 million. So the main challenges currently for the Christian is access to education and job opportunities in the country. So the Catholic University in Erbil provided the access for education for a uh, hundred of students to uh, undertake that, that challenge and uh, provide more education opportunities for the special Christian students in Iraq. We are so talking about it from an international relations perspective. Uh, I'm a Kurd from Iraqi Kurdistan, and uh, something we are proud of is the, the comfort zone, the safe zone, the security that we have for the Christian community uh, in Kurdistan. They are located uh, mostly in uh, Arbil uh, at the Ankau. So we're having a district which is Ankau. Uh, we can't answer, like, we, we can't say, like, the Christian community are generally fine because, as my colleague said, like their number have been unfortunately hugely decreased from from like more than a million to uh, two hundred and fifty thousand. Many many Christian people have uh, unfortunately fled Iraq. They did not leave it because they went, but they fled the country. It was not only the Islamic State of Iraq that you that you started with. It was also Al Qaeda in the past. Uh, they are not uh, generally welcome uh, in the country as well. The country. Uh, is, is a religious country. The majority are Shia as well, and of course, political agendas are are also involved there. Middle East is a as a as a as a, as a mostly uh, Muslim country, Muslim Muslim region. Um, fortunately, their situation is very fine now. Uh, they are they are comfortable in Ankara, but that does not mean they are welcome everywhere in the country. Uh, the northern part of Iraq, which is the Kurdistan region of Iraq, uh, is a safe zone. There is security, stability. It's the most stable part of uh, Iraq. So they are, they are comfortable, but not from all the parts. Because we had 
uh, hundreds of thousands of uh, Christians who fled uh, the Iraqi Arab uh, cities and parts and came to came to the Kurdistan region, as I said, located in Ankara. But there are also many, many other people who uh, fled the country to others. And uh, we have, for example, some uh, few Christian communities here in Poland too, coming from Iraq. It, it can be a little confused for our uh, viewer uh, because we are talking about Iraq, we are talking about Kurdistan, but Kurdistan is not a state. Yes. It's uh, some form of the Kurdish place or Kurdish autonomy inside of Iraq. Can you a little explain what does it mean, Kurdish safe zone in Iraq? What, what's the, what is the, this the element of the, and the political system or the element That's of true. the relations in the region? This, well, that's, that's what, this is what is complicated in the Middle East. This is about the complicated, complicated uh, status of the Middle East in general. So the Kurdish are uh, an ethnic entity. There are 40 million people in the Middle East divided into Iraq, Syria, Turkey, and Iran as well. I'm from the Iraqi part. We are uh, 7 million people uh, in the country. We have our own language, parliament, and president as well. Uh, it's probably the other Iraq, as I said, the most stable as well. Uh, the Christians are welcome, the other religions are welcome to, to the region, but uh, they are probably not, not, not welcome to the other region. And of course, here politics is way later. Uh, so we have our own status, just like Scotland and, and others. That's why things can be different. We have our own laws, for example. In terms of foreign affairs diplomacy, of course, there is the central government, the federal government, which is the Iraqi government. But for, for many other affairs, we have our uh, autonomy. That's why things can be different in the Kurdistan region compared to compared to uh, to Iraq. We are ethnically different. We are culturally different as well. And all this matters uh, when it comes to entities because it's not only Christians that we have. We have Turkmen. We have uh, uh, Yazidis, for example, who are there. Uh, so all this matters and impacts uh, the status of ethnic minorities or ethnic entities because basically. Uh, and quite frankly, Christians can be minorities, Turkmen can be minorities, uh, uh, like comparing to us, I mean, me talking as a Kurd. The Iraq, the majority of the population in Iraq, they are Arabs, then we have, then, then com like, comparing Kurds to the Iraqis, Kurds can be the minority, comparing to them, but then inside the Kurdistan region, we are having other ethnic, uh, ethnic uh, we have other ethnic uh, and religious minorities as well, Christians, Yazidis, they can be some of them. But again, Christians are, for example, Chaldean and Syrian nationality holders. They also have their own history. They have their own civilization and they contributed a lot to the civilization of the Middle East. They have their own culture and language as well. So that's why it's really complicated when it comes to Iraq. If I want someday to travel to Arabia, mm -hmm. it is safe. It's very safe. I can guarantee that's safe and you will return, return safely to your country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you reach Iraq for the first time, you will change the whole vision that you have currently on the security situation, economic situation, etc. Not everything that you see on media can tell you the reality. Yeah. I mean, if I have never been to Iraq or if I was not from the country, I would say it's dangerous. Iraq is about Al-Qaeda, terrorism and all of that. But no, I mean, let me tell you an incident. I was in Paris uh, in the November attacks. You know, there was some terrorist, series of terrorist attacks in November 2015. And actually, I was very like one of the uh, places that the terrorist act, act, attack happened. I was there just like before five minutes. That means I was more prone for a terrorist attack in the uh, in the most uh, famous European city, Paris, rather than in my own country, because I, I've never been, even though I'm from Iraq. So uh, not everything what, what, that we are hearing from like media can be true unless you see it, you see it in reality. Uh, so Kurdistan and Herbal uh, always welcomes you whenever you want or any other person, and it's stable. So far. So far. Because let's, nothing is expected. Let's keep cross fingers for this sake as long as it is possible. Let's keep okay. cross fingers. Thank you very much for this amazing opportunity to meet you. Thank you very much that you decided to, to travel to Poland to be here with us. 
Uh, I hope that you will enjoy the, this visit in Poland. And also I want to thank you for our viewers to be with us to watch this, this uh, interview, this, this seminar about the Iraq, Iraqi people and this Kurdish enclave in, in Iraq. Thank you very much for listening to today's Międzynarodowej debaty i zapraszam na kolejne wydarzenia organizowane przez Akademię Kultury Społecznej i Medialnej w Toruniu, Regionalny Ośrodek Debaty Międzynarodowej w Toruniu oraz Biuro Współpracy Międzynarodowej i Międzyuczelnianej realizujące program Erasmus Plus przy Akademii Kultury Społecznej i Medialnej w Toruniu. Dziękuję bardzo.